Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBC interim title holder Dillian White, who is also the WBC mandatory challenger, has been confirmed to face Russian contender Alexander Povetkin on May the 2nd in Manchester at the Manchester Arena. This will be a pay-per-view event. So in this video, I'll cover off their statements on social media, their thoughts in the press release that has been issued, and some general thoughts about this fight. Because for me, it boils down to what does Alexander Povetkin at 40, and he has been clearly on the slide in recent years, what does he have left? Can he upstage Dillian White, who goes into this fight as a favorite? I've seen early poll results on a poll that's a sky poll, matchroom poll, I should say, that had 70% of people picking Dillian White for a knockout. In general, Alexander Povetkin, just online at least, considered a heavy underdog. We did see him put on a good performance against Michael Hunter in December 2019. But what does he really have left? Does he have one big fight left in him? Remembering he has been talking retirement for some time, saying he's got one, two or three fights left in his career. He made those statements three fights ago. So this is the third fight. So does he have it in him to get a win here, which would propel him much closer to a title shot? He would take Dillian White's slot in the WBC as the interim champion take the mandatory slot and be there waiting for a title shot. So for Povetkin, it's all there for him. So this isn't without risk for Dillian White. Although some people will say, look, Povetkin, 40 years old, well past his prime at this point. But White, in terms of his reaction on social media, he says it's on maximum violence May 2nd. We go again, hashtag maximum violence. That's a hashtag and saying he's been using uh, in recent weeks. He obviously knew that this fight was coming and that Alexander Povetkin was going to be the opponent. It's been well signaled. We've just been waiting for dominoes to fall across the board and other, you know, things like Joshua and his fight with Pulev. There's also um, Alexander Usyk and Derek Chisora working out their moves for the year in terms of their shows, pay-per-views, etc. So they've got two months to promote this event. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But Alexander Povetkin, he says, I'm pleased to fight White. It has been long discussed, but didn't happen. Dillian is a good, strong boxer. It would be interesting to fight him. I'm not about big announcements. I'm about winning in the ring. And on May 2nd, people should see a spectacular match. That's Alexander Povetkin's uh, statement on social media. And if we just cross over to the uh, Matchroom press release, you can see here on screen. Uh, so just uh, scrolling down here, this is a, a great fight. Povetkin is an Olympic gold medalist. So this is Dillian White. He has loads of experience. He is a former champion and has only lost to Joshua and Klitschko. He is still very dangerous. He gave AJ a lot of problems and then beat Huey Fury. I'm not overlooking him at all. He will come in shape. He's tough and very well schooled. You you only have to look at his resume to see that he's always been considered one of the most fearsome punches in the heavyweight division with big KO wins over Huck, Cha, Takam, Wok and Price. He showed in Saudi Arabia that he's still got a lot left in the tank and he's still very dangerous. I've got respect for him but I'm on to maximum violence, straight animal instinct. I want to be heavyweight champion of the world, so anywhere in the world is my lion's den. If you aspire to be world champion, you should be able to fight anywhere. Manchester is a great city with great fight fans, and I'm looking forward to going back there. And then Povetkin, he says the quote that he said on social media, so I will not repeat that, but Eddie Hearn says, This is a heavyweight thriller and so important to the landscape of the division. Dillian White sits as mandatory to Tyson Fury, and while the wait is frustrating, Dillian continues to take high-risk fights, and that's why he is such a fan favourite. The last time Dillian fought at this arena, we witnessed an all-time classic against Derek Chisora. We are planning a huge night in Manchester as Dillian White continues to march towards a shot at the heavyweight world title. And Povetkin's promoter Andre Ryabinski says, I think all boxing fans can agree that we are up for a great fight, both stylistically in terms of what's at stake, and this fight makes it spectacular and an anticipated event. Of course, we believe in Alexander, but we have to understand that Dillian White is a tough opponent who's strong and ambitious. Besides, he has come a long way to be in a championship fight. Many would wait out an easy opportunity, but he decided that he needs this fight and it commands respect. 
Andrei Ryabinsky's statements. That's Alexander Povetkin's promoter. So overall, I mean, this is a battle of the hookers. Both White and Alexander Povetkin, trademark left hooks. It could be a situation of who lands first with a big bomb during the fight. Remembering Alexander Povetkin did shake up Anthony Joshua and he shook up many other fighters with that left hook. Dillian White, of course, has been knocking people out with that left hook and even dropped Joseph Parker, who'd never touched the canvas, hit him with that left hook and he went down. I guess, you know, this is a fight that's not without risk for Dillian White and remembering he's a hittable fighter. So if Alexander Povetkin can get into the inside, you know, past Dillian White's jab, which is an underrated jab, he could end up sort of working um, White over to the body and head. It could be interesting. But Dillian White is a favorite for a reason. He is the younger man. He is the taller man with the um, reach advantage in this one as well. And I expect he will try to use some of those advantages early on. Why would he just want to try bang it out, you know, right in the pocket with Alexander Povetkin? Because that would be an unnecessary risk. I'm sure we're going to see spots of trading where it is up close and personal. But I think White will be wary of Povetkin in those early rounds. It could be a situation like the Joshua fight where Alexander Povetkin sort of tires out. Uh, and then it's in those mid rounds where Dillian White starts to take advantage and could start to land something and land something big. I like the fight, but this is a fight where Alexander Povetkin, as a 40-year-old fighter, is expected um, to not come through this one. White has picked Povetkin because he believes he's beatable, he's got name recognition, and he can help sell some pay-per-views. Remembering, Dillian White is in the Dillian White pay-per-view business. So this is a calculated risk for a reward, and Dillian White has been about trying to maximize his earnings uh, in the heavyweight division since he's risen to a certain level. And you can't blame him for that because he's a prize fighter after all but this is not a 50 50 fight as i see it it's more sort of 60 40 to white or 65 35 you can better believe in the build up to this fight that they will try to make out that alexander povetkin is still close to his prime that he hasn't fallen off too much and that this is a much closer fight than people anticipate they will want to talk down povetkin's age but at this point it is a factor povetkin has clearly been slowing down in recent years He's still a top 10 heavyweight fighter. He proved that he's still got something left by beating Huey Fury. Didn't look fantastic in that fight, but he was okay. And then obviously getting the draw with Michael Hunter. I thought Povetkin shaded that fight. But I am going to be picking Dillian White to win this one, either by decision or potential knockout. And that knockout could come somewhere between rounds you know, six onwards. I think this is a case where he will try to see off Povetkin while he's fresh and dangerous, as did Anthony Joshua. I think the template is there to beat Alexander Povetkin and if you can catch up with him eventually and if he does get him with a big left hook it could be lights out but I'm not completely writing off Alexander Povetkin remembering I said it's still a 60-40 style of fight so he is going to be in this fight but his best opportunity I think is early and White is hittable let's not sort of say he's some sort of defensive maestro because he can be hit but can Povetkin land that money punch early on to get the job done because if he does does. It's a big upset and Dillian White obviously would have waited a long time not to get a title shot. He's been targeting that WBC belt for some time. But obviously he would still walk away with a pretty decent payday. And I guess you could ask the question, what sort of numbers is this going to do in the United Kingdom? There is going to be a number of pay-per-views coming up. Maybe the chance of getting decent numbers for this fight is okay because people wouldn't have had to, at that point, dip into their wallet repeatedly. Remembering you're going to have the um, Usyk Chisora fight, Anthony Joshua versus Kubrat Puliev in June. But with some of White's recent pay-per-views against Parker and also Chisora doing somewhere around the 400, 450,000, the Revis one did almost 300,000. I guess you could maybe say maybe it will be somewhere in between those different numbers, 350 to 400,000. I don't know. I think there will be some people looking at this guy, Alexander Povetkin. You know, he's a bit shop-worn now. What's he really got left? Is this really pay-per-view? And I know there will be some people um, crying out saying and mentioning Luis Ortiz in the comments. You can bank on that now. People will be mentioning he's fighting a 40-year-old. Why isn't he fighting Luis Ortiz and mentioning his age? Well, the simple reason is he doesn't need to fight Ortiz because he's the interim champion now. And the other thing with it, why would he offer Luis Ortiz a chance to beat him to then get a third title shot? I think Dillian White, with some of what's happened with Wilder and the sort of weight that he's had to go through, 
He's never going to throw Luis Ortiz a bone. But what do you make of this fight? Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin, Manchester, May the 2nd. It's a decent fight and one of the better ones that can be made right now in the heavyweight division. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.